Japan would shoot North Korean missiles out of the sky if it bought the U.S. weaponry needed to do so, U.S. President Donald Trump said yesterday, suggesting Tokyo take a stance it has avoided until now. North Korea is pursuing nuclear weapons and missile programs in defiance of UN Security Council sanctions and has made no secret of its plans to develop a missile capable of hitting the U.S. mainland. It has fired two missiles over Japan. Trump, speaking after a summit with Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe, repeated his mantra that the era of strategic patience with North Korea was over, and said the two countries were working to counter the dangerous aggressions. Trump also pressed Japan to lower its trade deficit with the United States and buy more U.S. military hardware. He Abe will shoot them out of the sky when he completes the purchase of lots of additional military equipment from the United States, Trump said, referring to the North Korean missiles. The Prime Minister is going to be purchasing massive amounts of military equipment, as he should. And we make the best military equipment by far. Abe said Tokyo would shoot down missiles if necessary. Trump is on the second day of a 12-day Asian trip that is focusing on North Korea's nuclear missile programs and trade. The U.S. leader, who will visit South Korea on his trip, has rattled some allies with his vow to totally destroy North Korea if it threatens the U.S. and with his dismissal of North Korean leader Kim Jong-un as a rocket man on a suicide mission. Abe, with whom Trump has bonded through multiple summits and phone calls, repeated at the same news conference that Japan backed Trump's stance that all options are on the table, saying it was time to exert maximum pressure on North Korea and the two countries were 100 percent together on the issue. China's foreign ministry spokeswoman Hua Chunying, in response to Abe's comments, said the North Korean situation was already extremely complex, sensitive and weak. We hope that under the present circumstances, all sides' words and actions can help reduce tensions and re-establish mutual trust and get the North Korean nuclear issue back on the correct track of dialogue and negotiations, she said. Trump said he was committed to achieving free, fair and reciprocal trade and wants to work with Japan on this issue. America is also committed to improving our economic relationship with Japan, Trump said. As president, I'm committed to achieving fair, free and reciprocal trading relationship. We seek equal and reliable access for American exports to Japan's markets in order to eliminate our chronic trade imbalances and deficits with Japan. Earlier, speaking to Japanese and U.S. business executives, Trump praised Japan for buying U.S. military hardware. But he added that many millions of cars are sold by Japan into the United States, whereas virtually no cars go from the United States into Japan. Japan had a $69 billion trade surplus with the U.S. last year, according to the U.S. Treasury Department. Trump met Japanese Emperor Akihito, exchanging a handshake and nodding, before his luncheon talks with Abe.